down! Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Permadeath Roleplay, the place where we take a build, put them out in the world, they succeed, haul out heroes, and if they die, well, then they're cut, and we start someone new. Nick is our samurai, or samurai god, sniper build, and he's taking the headshots of raiders to take revenge for his fallen child. It's very sad, and currently we're slightly getting ratted. Hmm, huh. I would love to wear the hat, but we're not going to wear the hat. Some guns, checking them out. Dirt. Wow, some of these things that these guys carried. It's very radiated over that way for some reason. And it's radiated in this direction for some reason too. But this airplane crash is amazing. I really want to get a better look at it as we jump up higher. Oh, that's awesome. That is sick. Good looking spot. Okay, continuing on to my favorite spot where I think there should be some... Good old, sorry, I was looking at the crow. Some good old raiders to hang out and shoot a bit of. And that should work great. Okay. Uh, so, as I mentioned, we're uh, kind of coming down to the end of Nick's time. So if you have an idea for a build, or if you want to come up with a, uh, a vote on some of the builds that have already been placed, we have the subreddit down below in the description. Go ahead and check that out. See if any of the builds are there. Cool. Uh, the, at the filming of this... The um, drug user, the chemist. Oh my god, we've actually been exactly at this spot before. That's where the dude died, and the Mirelar Hunter came out. Oh, wow. I remember. Well, those are Mirelark eggs. Should explain why Mirelark was here. Well, I'm gonna get the hell out now. Oh, that's awesome. We were so close to that crash site. That's pretty sick. Oh man, this is, I like kind of doing, like seeing where we circle back to, because we, I mean, we made it pretty far. All right, have we, I don't know, there's diamond cities on the map, so that's pretty far to me. Um, part of that though is because we found that one dude's, uh, I don't know what I would call it, that thingy-majig. Oh, there are super mutants here, that's right. Once again, another thing where our character is not necessarily about getting into these fights. He's looking for the raiders. Not so not so much the exploratory part of it. Um, God, I do love the exploratory part of it, but exploratory. But we could probably do an explorer character at some part where he has to like clear a certain number of locations. And like, it doesn't matter what, you just gotta clear them. Still got these dudes here, doing their thing. Yep. Still doing their thing. It's got a little doggy. Hey, doggy. Alright, well, we're just gonna ignore you. But apparently, I set... It for the hospital, that's right. Now we're gonna put this here. Alright. Just ignore the super mute. That's a that's a suicider. Just ignore the suicider. And apparently we got some Ooh, I hate blood bugs. Okay, we're in danger. Well they hate us too, it seems. Luckily we got pew pew ready. If things get a little hairy. And hairy they are getting. Okay, here we go. We got that one. Do we have to deal with the blood bug proboscis? Haha, <laughs> science. Got him. All right, we're doing okay. Keeping him at bay. There's that one, here he comes. Whew. Normally blood bugs are terrible. Maybe they are because I just let them get close and our pa I panic. Still in danger from something. Hmm. What is... I don't recognize some of this stuff. What is that? What is here? Okay, I, I'm going to explore a little bit because I actually have not seen some of these places. Huh. This is cool. I feel like I've uh, I've missed out a little bit. Check out this town. This is epic. What's uh, excuse me? Sorry, I burped. What's going on here? Just 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 a town. All right. Is this part of the um, the other gunner location? That would be a ghoul. Yeah. You know what? I know that there are gunners in this area. At the uh, hospital, specifically. Huh. Books! Hi. This is... I've not been to this town before. Large coffee. 
Slocum's Joe Corporate HQ? Is this a... Oh, it's a coffee shop. I hear like a dog breathing. All right, well, we're just gonna get out of here. So once again, that's not necessarily what our character is about. He's about finding raiders to shoot. Although now I really want to explore and see like what items and stuff we can pick up. But yeah, that's, once again, we're about raiders, not gunners, not ghouls, just leaving them be. There's a fly. Man, sneaking away. Oh, good. Legendary Feral Ghoul Stalker. Exactly what I don't want to see. Uh oh, fly. Got it. Oh, man. Pew Pew's been doing great. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Pew Pew. Good gun to have. This is a pretty cool structure. It reminds me of the Space Needle. Something, you know, it's. I wonder if, like, how much coolness goes on in this area. That's uh, that's an official term, right? Coolness, right? I've never gone into this gunner spot, uh, personal playthrough or otherwise. So it's something that I think is pretty sweet. You know, actually, here's a thing worth talking about. I was reading an article talking about how it was compared to Fallout 4 and The Witcher, which obviously is a pretty typical comparison. They're both RPGs, action-based, mature, that kind of thing. And uh, it was interesting because in the comparison, and I mentioned it too because I've actually done a little bit of a permadeath role play with Witcher. I, uh, I tried it out. It was fun, but it just it wasn't getting the sick, the right amount of attention that I was really looking for. But I didn't. And I also didn't quite start it the right way. But um, this is definitely not where I needed to go. Interestingly, maybe it's a little bit more north this way. Hmm. Well, we'll just keep kind of exploring. I actually I think it's more east. So at any point, um, is that. They were talking about how in Fallout 4, everything ends with violence. It doesn't matter what cool thing you find, you it's always a violent thing. Uh, one of the examples that was brought up, which I d honestly didn't even think about, but, oh, it's a settler, was um, the combat zone. And we went and did it with Crane, if you guys recall. Holy shit, motherfucker! I have... No idea. Oh, there's another dog behind me. Wait, if there's attack dogs. Go, go, get, just, just go. It's a psycho. That I can deal with. But first, we got these little motherfuckers to deal with. Get off your head. Uh, anyway, see, well, so being attacked by ra like raiders like this, th this is a violent act. This happens. This is part of the game. Um, but the argument that they were making was that this is the only way that anything is ever uh, dealt with in Fallout 4. I went to the combat zone, I broke in, I saw this badass fighting area going on, and it's like, oh, that's cool, I wonder if it's going to be a coliseum, you know, like in, uh, like in, uh, whatever it was, um, Oblivion or something like that. Another kill count, by the way. And we're now getting irradiated. Shoot. Let's keep going east. Maybe we can avoid the the storm as it's rolling in. Sheesh, we're getting hurt. Actually, we just are hurt. Uh, anywho, so the thought process was like, why would, did the game just give people um, specifically... You know what? There was a bed inside that bus. We could sleep out the, uh, the storm. So you can't sleep when you are receiving... Um, uh, radiation, but in between when the bolts of lightning hit, you actually can go to bed and then wait out the storm to just pass you. See, cannot sleep while taking radiation. Boom, now we can do it. Good eight hours, just let it completely go. All right, the storm has passed, not receiving any more radiation. That's nice. Unfortunately, we healed ourselves to for that thing, but oh well, you know what? Fine. Let's keep moving east. And, um,. God, that liquid looks horrible. So, the the point was is that the combat zone could have been this badass fighting area where you do a bunch of, you know, like, it's all melee fighting, and then it's, you know, one against two, and you bet, and that, that could be kind of fun. But they chose to just make it this crazy fight scene. Um, and apparently, from what I understand, there's also a racetrack with robots. 
And I haven't found it, but apparently it exists somewhere. And this racetrack with robots is something that, you know, it would have been so cool to bet on your robot or to... Whoa, it's a helipad. Or to, like, race your robot or something. Um, I think I've actually been here in my private... Yeah, in my private playthrough, I've made it here. There's a, um... There's a lot of turrets, and there's a really... They basically talk about that they hear about the bomb dropping. And then, um... Oh! Oh, okay. Holy crap, that was a lot of life. But anyway, the guy hears talk about the bomb dropping. And then he's told not to discuss it or anything like that. Um... Just getting out. Just getting out of there. Okay. So... Anywho... What is that? So, the point being that... In the case of the violence is that in Witcher 3, I remember I did a mission, and I did this on camera, where I literally just checked out a frying pan. And it was just, the whole com thing was about the conversation. That was the whole mission. And honestly, filming wise, that's kind of less interesting. Uh, I mean, it's fun to listen to the person talk and it's funny to hear it, but to have a commentary, fucking forged. Oh god, nope, 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 nope. That's where you get the shish kebab. Just so you know. But forged are much more powerful, like, raiders. And they're not called raiders, so I'm not going to consider them something that Nick's going after. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, it's a little ghoul place. We're going to pop in here real quick and have a safe spot. Anyway, these witcher... Missions don't necessarily have to end in violence. And that's something where it's been pointed out is that Fallout 4 always would end in violence. And as a show, like as Kublai Khan's show, Let's I always see. find violence to be a little bit more entertaining visually. Uh, not necessarily better gameplay particularly, but just visually, it seems like people tend to prefer... Or at least I do when I watch as well, this action that's going on. I'm looking forward to see, because these guys might have a mission for me. Alright, I know one of these guys is the leader. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey. You just, just get, damn it. Okay, it wasn't Arlen, the guy who was just, we were just looking at. Huh. I don't know where he is, but if we find the guy, he might have a mission that would give us more raiders. Should be nice, and possible more leveling up. Well, there's food, that's nice. Let's talk. This guy's gonna give us a, a giddy-up thing, and tell us to look for those uh, parts. So I don't necessarily want to do that right now. I do want to cook, though. So I looked around the place and didn't find the leader. Bit of a bummer. I guess we'll just keep moving um, north or east. I'm not 100% sure which way to keep moving. I don't quite remember where that my favorite raider spot is. But it's kind of fun to get a an overall view of this area. Just seeing things and just how, like, pretty it is in general. Like, uh, one of the... Um, as we were talking about the violence of Fallout 4, where everything has to end in violence versus... Aw, this is really cool. Uh, versus how things work in... What is that? We might actually be right near... We are. We're right nearby where I needed to go, actually. Oh, that's fantastic. That's where a bunch of gunners are. That's a medical, um, a mental hospital. And right over here is where I saw a rad scorpion fighting a deathclaw. So hopefully we don't run into that. Anywho, um, I remember I, I bolted over to this spot to hide because uh, I was scared. And then I saw this area and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep going this way. And I did. And that's how it got to our favorite raider spot. Anyway, um, the idea of the violence being different is a problem with Fallout 4. Uh, like I mentioned, I feel that it is more visually interesting to watch fighting than it is to watch... Um, perfect, we found the spot. Than it is to watch like just conversation. But it can be interesting watching conversation, especially when it's done in an entertaining way. Um, there's less commentary that can fit because, you know, you're trying to listen to the characters talking rather than... Ooh, that machine gun's powerful. Well, I don't know if we're going to go in this place, but we're definitely going to go try to pick some people off. Oh, there's a dude. So, 
that's something that I feel for like a let's play. This doesn't bother. Oh no, it didn't kill him. <sighs> this might be a bad place. If headshots with 2.5% damage addition are just going to slightly injure the person. I mean, not slightly. I guess he's... That was a lot, a lot of damage. This is problematic. Very problematic. Alright, I bet we could kill... Oh man, that guy apparently is really good too. They're right below me, huh? This is scary. I, I, adding kills to the counter, but the fact that it takes two shots to the head at a full sneak. Alright, they, they think I'm over here, but they don't actually know for sure. I feel pretty comfortable up here. I mean, there's not really any easy way up here. You have to either run along this area, or you have to run along this area. So I feel pretty comfortable. There's another one. And the thing is, is that the AI doesn't quite know where to look for me. Well, I missed that shot. Hit him. Hit him. All right. Now hopefully a headshot will be enough to kill him. I just realized that a bunch of the guys I killed weren't headshots. Shoot! I can't count those! Okay, well, that's problematic. Because they were moving so much once I did the headshot thing. Damn! Alright, they have an idea of where I am, but they're not 100% sure. Mother of... Ah! That was a headshot. I can add that one to the counter. Let's back off a little bit. That does not kill him. That was a headshot. But that's only two out of the four that we are going up against, except for that first one. Alright, how are we doing up here? Doesn't look like I have anybody to worry about. This person seems to be on the other side of this rock face. Yep, there she is. She's very powerful according to the... What's going on? Shit. Shit. Go. Alright, hold... Up, oh, up. Oh, fe we fell down. Okay. Um... We can, we can head back to the farm. That'll be a nice safe spot. We won't have to worry about things, animals suddenly creeping up and getting us. Oh. Jeez, this is... This is not working out. It truly is a bit problematic when you have multiple headshots to kill somebody. Then we have the forge. Ugh. This is... We need to find some softer raiders. That or level up. I guess we could take some... But I need to get a different... I don't know. I don't know, dudes. This is a this is a tough decision. Either way, we're going to make our way back to fighting in that area. Keep picking them off. Until then, I'm going to sleep in this bus. Because it seems like a nice place to take a nappy poo. Can I sit on... No, I can't. Oh, you really can't? Oh, well. Oh, anyway. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. It was a real joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please click that like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you so much for doing so. It's a total joy to have you here. Let me just say it twice. And, of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.